Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Control 6 here in Shrewsbury, a fantastic night of fights. Coming on the pro card, we've got some really, really good quality bouts for you, including a rematch between Ant Phillips and Luke Hurst. These two met two years ago under semi-pro rules, and it was Ant Phillips who took the victory with a TKO in the first. Luke Hurst has been after that rematch for two long years, and tonight he'll get his opportunity. Yeah, Ant Phillips, great lad. I believe he's been taken in by the Spartan gym locally. He's been working a lot with Dougie Wildman and the team over there at Spartan MMA. I know he's hungry for this rematch, should be a cracker. And we've also got another lad from Falcons Gym, a great gym. We've got the, the likes of Joe Duffy trainer up there, and that's Corey Hansen. But he's taking a very experienced grappler in Davin Byfield, somebody who's fought Ladies on a lot of big shows like Cage Rage UK. That's it, and that sort of experience from right, Davin Byfield, you can't discount that. He's been to the big shows, like you say, Cage Rage. And uh, coming down here, he's going to have the edge and experience. Perhaps the skill the edge goes to the opponent, we'll see. Coming up next for you, we have the ICO welterweight title between Richie Jones and Stuart Wildman.
Ladies and gentlemen, the title is on the line here at Cage Control 6. A phenomenal night of action so far as we have now the ICO welterweight title between Richie Jones in the black and white shorts and Stu Wildman in the plain black shorts. I'm Ben Cartledge alongside David Letherby and a fantastic fight here. And Jones straight to the floor as we alluded to in the intro to this show. Jones coming from that grappling background, a really, really, really good guard. Very good with submissions on top. This is where he'll have wanted the fight. Yep, this is a nightmare start for Stuart Wiseman, Ben. It's exactly where he doesn't want to be, on his back with Richie Jones working on top of him, looking to pass guard now. And Jones looking incredibly calm from this position. He's in the side control, he's got one arm pinned through. And what he's going to look to do is free that arm from between the legs and then look to isolate an arm. Isolate, excuse me, an arm. He's got a gable grip. Isolating that right arm of his opponent. Left arm, excuse me, as he looks to rotate round. Is he looking for an arm bar, perhaps, Ben, on that far side? Certainly looking to, to kind of crank that position. And what he's done there is he's locked his man in position on the other looking. side. Well done to Stuart Wildman. Definitely. You have to say he's ended up on top position there. Jones probably won't be too disappointed to be on his back though, Ben. Works well from his back. Uh, definitely fought at the last cage control and won with a very quick arm bar in less than a minute. And we'll watch it, he's going to be in danger of being submitted here himself. We'll see how good his submission defense is. As Wildman looking to pull that Kimura out. The only thing that is stopping that Kimura from going on, Ben, is the half guard of Richie Jones right now. Stuart Wildman trying to power through the move regardless. Has he got it, Ben? It looks on. It looks very tight from this position. Jones really struggling here. We can see the grimace of pain on his face. He's thinking about tapping. He really is thinking about tapping. That's a very tight Kimura. Amazing Look heart at the agony on his face. Jones, ben. He's Jones just not tapping. This submission out. Unbelievable heart. Unreal to see him toughen out from here. That is a tight Kimura and he's rolled through. And as he managed to grab his own arm. That is a cerebral display and he's out of it. Absolutely sensational show of heart from Richie Jones. But this, Dave, this is where champions are forged. I mean, we saw Richie Jones in his last back come out and have it all his own way with a very good armbar victory. But what's he made of when he's in a tough spot? And we just learned that he's got all kinds of heart, toughing out a very, very tight Kimura from a very strong opponent. And more to the point for me, Dave, at the start of the fight when his man's completely fresh and back to the guard position. That's it, Stuart Wilder, not a small guy at the way, a very strong fighter. He had that locked in, Ben, and just pure heart got Richie Jones for that. Absolutely amazing display. Jones working from the bottom now. Once again, we'll see he's not... He's very good at separating those legs across and throwing his hips through. Looking for an armbar or a triangle if he can. wildman has got to be careful of passing in that fashion. Jones looking for a Kimura of his own. And it looks like he's got it from the guard situation. Very tough to finish from here, but he's locked in that body triangle. And now if he can pull his arm through. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Well, very good well. Very good defensive grappling from both fighters, Dave, in this ICO welterweight title clash here. A real chess match when it's hit the floor. And not as we expected. I mean, if we look at the grappling backgrounds of both fighters, you'd see Jones having some advantage, but there's the arm bar. Straight through his man's roll. There it is. Let's be honest, Dave, he earned it. He had to really, he saw the grimace of pain on his face. He had to top out a very bad spot in that Kimura, but he came through, and that's his forte, that armbar from the bottom. We've seen him win fights with that before. A dangerous grappler and a real handful at this weight. There's not a fan in the house, Ben, even if they're supporting Stuart Wilder that can begrudge Richie Jones the title belt on this occasion, because as you said, that's one of the biggest displays of art I've ever seen live at an event. It, makes me think of the cage rage, the cage rage final between John Maguire and Peter Irving. And, and Peter Irving. Yeah, sorry, Ben. Where Peter Irving just zenned out. And it's the same for Richie Jones. The Kimura was so tight and he just refused to tap. Absolutely amazing show of Mark Richie Jones.